Hey y'all, it's Monarch with Monarch Ministries. My name is Leah Boone. I have another word for you today. Um, I had a vision this morning during prayer of a jack-in-the-box and the song Pop Goes the Weasel was playing in my head. And so I looked it up and Pop Goes the Weasel means just like that. Your blessings are coming and it's going to be just like that. One minute, you're not going to see it. And the next minute, it's just going to pop up just like that. Um, four or five days ago, I had a vision of Jiffy Pop, the popcorn that you cook on the stove, except it didn't have a lid on it. And it was just going like fireworks, popcorn everywhere. And I knew it had something to do with the blessings. If you are in that season where you know that it is your season, this word is for you. And you will know because you've been through the warfare, you know because God has been showing you and leading you and guiding you to this and you've been seeing all the signs. So, um, but like with any word, please pray about it and get more confirmation and test the spirit on the word. Um, it reminded me of Amos 9, 13 through 15 that says, Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. This is God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. I'll make everything right again for my people Israel. That is exactly what I thought of as soon as I had that Jack in the Box um, vision. And I also thought of it when I had the Jiffy Pop vision, but I was waiting for more confirmation. And so when I got that Jack in the Box vision today, I was like, Jack in the Box? Because I was thinking the, the uh, fast food restaurant, I was like, what is that, Lord? But then the song pop goes, the weasel came into my head. And so I just looked it up, just, you know, curiosity. And just like that came up um today i was driving um i work i work i do delivery work anyways um so god is speaking to me with my environment all the time and god speaks to me a lot with numbers numbers have been my thing i'm really more of a mathematician i haven't really been too into english my entire life which is weird because I just wrote a book and published it on Amazon called 23 Stop, if you want to check it out. It's um, part of my um, testimony of what I went through to get my deliverance, and it is part prophetic word on what God has been showing me for the next seven years. It's not a very long book. I didn't want to make it too long, and um, I talked to God about it. I was like, I don't want to make this as long as my first book because that, that was just a lot. Um, anyways, so I've been seeing 888 and 88 and 77 a lot everywhere. And today, 77 was highlighted a lot. I, I mean, I was seeing it everywhere. I was seeing on license plates. I was seeing on buildings. I was seeing on addresses. And then I was at uh, Whataburger to pick up an order. And while I was standing there, I was only there for like two minutes. The lady was like, order 77. And I was like, okay, yeah, that, that's the number today. But then I saw on the license plate that said MTH 77. And I thought, what? And I was trying to figure it out. Matthew 7, 7. It says, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. Some of you have been asking God for things. And he is saying, he's saying he's about to deliver. Because of your great faith, he is bringing forth the blessing. Right after that, well, it was like an hour later or something. I saw MTH 88 and I was like, whoa, okay. So I, I mean, I'm writing everything down throughout the day, like really fast chicken scratch, but, um, Matthew 8, 8 is the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. Ask and believe this is great faith. Jesus, let me grab my Bible. And I went to go look this up in the Bible and I just opened up the Bible and it was like two pages away from this verse. I'm not kidding. Matthew 8, 8 is the centurion that had the great faith about his servant who we want to be healed. Jesus said, as surely I say to you, I have not found such great faith. 
not even in Israel. And he was healed from a distance just because the centurion believed. And God says, because you have believed because of your great faith, I am giving you your blessings. Your blessings are coming just like that. Um, in my morning prayer group this morning, I, I attend a morning prayer group every single day, Monday through Friday. And I have for almost a year and a half, two years almost two years now Chantel Ekaby is a wonderful prayer warrior and she has prayer groups every morning at 7 20 a.m eastern time which is 8 20 a.m in Texas um, but this morning the title was um, last minute miracle and I saw the number 43 I was like 43 likes or something like that but right after that I see a license plate that says 43 43 so I looked it up and it sees and that meaning is bent arm, as in to receive, like receive the blessing or receive the burden. You know how you pray and sometimes in your, like this with the palms up and your arms are bent? That's what it means. And I was just like, wow, wow. Okay. Um, today, I saw the number 820 and 820 is on my debit card and I knew it was significant but um, the meaning of 820 is meaning, um, oh, sorry, that's not a, the, the meaning of 820 is to be overlooked or without honor. Some of you have been dismissed. You have been overlooked. You have gone with, with dishonor. You have not been honored in the things you do. You are the outcast. But God is saying, I am going to bless you so big that they are going to have to take notice. You are my child. You are a child of God and you have been through the ringer and I'm about to bless you in front of everyone. Your table is set. Um, also, I wanted to mention that green and blue have been a highlight of the day. I wore a green shirt today and a blue um, blazer and I was using a blue and green highlighter and pen just I don't believe in coincidences, but I wanted to say coincidentally, but it's not a coincidence because resurrection and presence of God or the word of God is the meaning of green and blue. Teal has been a highlighted color over the last three or four days. I saw this teal colored car that I just thought was gorgeous and it just really stood out to me. And then at Christmas, my sister gets the exact same color luggage and I was just like, the spirit of the Lord was just all over it. He was like just highlighting this, this teal color to me. And then the blue and green highlighter today. And then what I'm wearing, I was like, okay, something, something's up. But green means resurrection, which this is the resurrection year. 2023 is the year of resurrection. And the presence of God or the word of God is the meaning of blue. Biblically, biblically. Sometimes I think of words too fast and then I don't know, something, I don't know. That's it. That's the word. Um, I wanted to share that with you. I was so excited to get those messages today and over the last few days trying to figure it all out and puzzle it together. But God is doing some amazing things in the body of Christ. And I can tell you that your suffering is not for nothing he is going to do what he said he's going to do and now it is time it the time is now 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 has been highlighted to me also um i pray that this message has blessed you in a mighty way father i pray in the mighty name of jesus that your blessings come and pour out like like wine over the hills in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against and rebuke any demonic attack over this word in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that this word goes out and reaches everyone who it is supposed to reach, Father, and that it blesses them mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you all with the love of Christ. Have a great day.